what'd you think for your first time? Pretty awesome. Yes. In the front row, even better. Infinity Falls, the world's tallest drop. We have a full area dedicated to Sesame Street. And it's gonna look like Sesame Street too, I think, if I remember correctly. Penguin. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to Richmond Guides. We are here at SeaWorld today and I am here with the dolphins here at the Dolphin Nursery. They are so much fun around here because they're swimming around and as you can see, they're enjoying the day so far. It is early morning. I've got Rory here, we're gonna have some fun here. Uh, there's a ton of stuff with SeaWorld. There's a ton of night stuff, which I won't be able to do just yet because obviously the sun's out, but Let's go get to Mako because I know the lines are going to be growing very fast today. So let's get over there. And it looks like they have everything up for Electric Ocean that would normally actually happen out at the Bay Theater, I think is what it's called, but I completely forgot the name of it. But I do love the nighttime stuff here. They've got Pop, which is back again from last year, and Electric Ocean, which they changed up a little bit for this year. So it's pretty cool that they're all decked out for their nighttime life. Okay, so Sea Lion High. That was a pretty good show that I haven't seen yet today. And I'm even just talking randomly right now because I feel like I'm talking randomly. But where are we going? We're heading to Antarctica. We are heading to Antarctica because the famed Mako Shark is probably not even open yet. We saw it were open. They're probably doing a delay open, whatever. It's all good because Antarctica probably has a short line if penguins. it's open. We'll have to see. Penguins. Yes, penguins. 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 <laughs> We're going to have so much fun with the Empire of the Penguin. So we'll see you guys when we get over there. I don't know which way we should go. I mean, there's a giant sign that says Antarctica. But then you got Paris, London, Christchurch. Well, it's actually Christchurch, Wellington, Washington. And then it just turned into snow I think Antarctica is welcoming us especially when you have Atlantis in the background journey to Atlantis in the background is so much fun but there's not a lot of people in line here so I think Empire of the Penguin wants us to ride let's get on and have a wild time Soon, Huck will lose 
that fuzzy down. And with his waterproof feathers grown in, he'll dive into the sea for the first time to begin the greatest adventure of his life. But now, we must seek shelter from the storm. There are many dangers in this beautiful and harsh land. Alone, we will not survive, but together, we will thrive. Now, let us begin our adventure. As always, I love to ride this on the wild side because the mild side is not as fun. But we're going to spin and spin and spin along the ice. So we're going to have a wild time and I'll see you guys with the penguins on the other side. When penguins roam the seas of Antarctica, you see their bellies. And then they just swim around. These guys are just so much fun but not as fun as the seals. We'll have to go to uh, the Arctic in order to see the seals because those guys are so much fun. The Kraken. It is the only, the first true floorless coaster here in the state of Florida. But of course it's next to his sister, a attraction that has been tamed down over the years. Atlantis. We still gotta decide on what we're gonna do, but there's still a ton to do. Tons of decisions to make. Oh, there's a squirrel. The squirrel just ran right by. Oh, I need that as a blooper. I need that as a blooper. Blooper reel. All right, so we decided on going on Kraken because we were already over there and we did non-VR. I love the non-VR better be than the VR version. So, have you ever ridden it with VR? No. No, okay. It made me very, very disoriented when I did ride it. And of course we had to get a refill. <laughs> it is a great deal to have. Now she's got the larger one, Rory has a larger one. I have the smaller one um, back at home but I didn't bring it with me today stupid me but we're actually heading if you guys can tell from the area we're heading over to shark reef and also the biggest and baddest coaster here mako oh mako you're such a fine coaster flying at 73 miles an hour say hello to your cousin finn hi finn he's made out of plastic but yeah i think it's time that we need to put everything away so that we can ride this magnificent coaster. If a tr car comes by, the train won't come by. It doesn't like you. I know it doesn't like me. It may not be open. It should be open. I hope it I is. saw it flying earlier. Flying through the ocean. Looks can be deceiving. I know looks can be deceiving, but we're still waiting patiently. But you can never go wrong with Guy Harvey. He has amazing paintings. All right, we'll see you guys after we get off of Mako. Mako, I always love it. It's a lot of fun, 73 miles an hour, 87 degree drop, almost vertical. What'd you think for your first time? Pretty awesome. Yes. In the front row, even better. Always fun in the front row. Oh, and you guys see that I got my fuel rod. So SeaWorld is one of the parks that has fuel rod stands. I think they have like four or five of them. Um, just like Busch Gardens, Disney. I wish Universal would have it, they don't have it yet, but there's something I do have to show you guys. You can see the mist here, there's actually something pretty close. Let me show you what it is. Infinity Falls, the world's tallest drop for a raft ride. So they have out here what the car is actually gonna look like. And to me, it looks like the exact same vehicles that are used out in Disney's California Adventure for Grizzly River Run. Eight person raft with no package in the center. So that's gonna be a lot of fun when it does come out later this year. Hopefully we can see some of the construction updates. So it looks like they've done quite a few number of updates like adding the store here, the white water supply, which looks like it's the exclusive store for Infinity Falls. 
they've got some general stuff plus a ton of new stuff here like keep paddling that's new and they also have a couple different stands here it is going to be a vertical lift system which is pretty cool with like a 80 something foot drop i don't remember the exact height but it is the world's tallest water raft drop you can look at pictures online try and find them i don't have aerial pictures here but there's just a ton going on here they're still adding pylons in there so down the road from mako and the new infinity falls area i've shown you guys this pretzel kitchen place amazing pretzels there they also have pretzel dogs pretzel burgers pretzel pizza and they've got amazing chips but right next door to it bush gardens and SeaWorld have uh offered starting this year bringing back the free beer so including in your daily admission and also if you're an annual pass holder whenever you come anytime two free sample beers that you get seven ounces seven ounces each and it does rotate throughout the year so just take a look whenever you come in and try some beer but a little bit further happy harbor is being destroyed but then again it's being replaced with sesame street which is actually not that bad because the bush garden sea world does have a partnership with sesame street and bush gardens already has the safari of fun and here at SeaWorld, they're gonna have a full area dedicated to Sesame Street. And it's gonna look like Sesame Street too, I think, if I remember correctly. And you can see that they've already bulldozed part of what used to be Happy Harbor. We're gonna head towards Manta now, so let's go have some fun. Man, is it a gorgeous day here at SeaWorld Orlando, where you got Mako and Kraken running and then you've got Manta also running. However, across the way, the Bayside Stadium, they've got the stadium all prepped and ready to go for Electric Ocean. Always fun. I did it one time. I went there, had some fun. <laughs> Haven't been back this year, unfortunately. But from previews that I've seen and from other vloggers like Tim the Tracker, looks like it's a lot of fun again this year. things I wanted to show you guys while we were in here so you can find these polar make your own polar bears throughout the park it's just like what is it mr. potato head I think it is yeah mr. potato head but for those of you that like classic candies they got six six lits here they also got jawbreakers and sugar babies some classics and they make the fudge right in front of you and anything else they can make it right in front of you right here it is a gorgeous place to make some candy over here in the rescue store to celebrate over 31,000 rescues they have a special pass member shirt that's 12 bucks 
a good deal because normally they're $21.99. And they look pretty cool. I might have to get one. Oh, Manta, you gorgeous coaster. You with flying on the chest and then hurting yourself when you get to the pretzel loop. Just kidding. It's a lot of fun. But we're going to see if we can get on if it is running. Something doesn't seem right right now, but I see people still entering the building, so it must be running. We'll see you guys once we take a flight with Manta. All right, so Manta is always a lot of fun, except I hate the pretzel loop. I always hate the pretzel loop. But Rory stuck behind, and she kept safeguard to some of my stuff and had fun playing some games. Always fun. We also got our pictures taken, and this was a deal that... I don't remember if I put it on video or not, but I was here a couple months ago and they were running a really good deal on the photo key card, so I got it when I did. It was well worth it and I'll definitely be coming back getting more pictures when I'm here for a lot longer, but it's starting to pick up with a lot of business coming in. We're going to get out of here. We're actually going to, I'm going to pick up a past member shirt and then we're going to head out of here. So you guys saw some of the construction updates of Infinity Falls and Sesame Street, whatever they want to call it now. And then we got to ride a couple rides, so I think it was well worth it coming here today. So I think I'm going to end it there. Make sure you like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. You can support us down below. And make sure you subscribe here on YouTube and you like this video. If you have any comments, put them down below. And I'll see you guys in the next adventure.